Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today I am going to be trying to make a mojito. It's quite a popular alcoholic drink, cocktail from Sex and the City and all that, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and let's see what we need. Let's have a go. Basically, you need some rum. That is the alcoholic ingredient in the mojito. About 50 mils of that. Some soda water. Two limes. Some mint. Smells good, smells good. And some caster sugar. About two teaspoons of that. That's gonna give it a real good kick. And obviously a glass. One other thing you need is some ice, um, which we're gonna crush at the last minute, and I'll show you how I do that a little bit later. So the first thing we need to do is get the juice out of our limes. So uh, let's do that. Okay guys, so I've just halved my limes, and I don't know if you can see that, I've just got myself a little slice, which we'll leave as a garnish to one side. And we just need about 30 mils um, of lime juice, which is about one ounce. So squeeze as much as you can out of these. They're quite tough to get juice out of limes, what I've been finding. So uh, squeeze as much out as you can. Right, okay, so the juice out of the two limes gives that amount there, which is actually just about 30 mils. I just measured it, which is good luck. So, I'm going to grab my glass and literally pour that straight in there. Now we need to grab two teaspoons of sugar. Okay, so I've got two teaspoons there of sugar. So, just plonk those straight in. Boing. Now what you want to do is get the sugar to dissolve with the uh, lime. So give it a blooming good stir around. You could even use brown sugar, I think, on this. So. Uh, yeah, just give that a good stir in so it's all dissolved. Okay, so that's looking good. Now we need to grab our first layer of crushed ice. Right here then guys, so to make the crushed ice, I've basically got a bag, a little sandwich bag actually that you'd normally put, well, sandwiches in. And I've got ice cubes from my freezer, straight in there. Rolling pin, sealed it up at the top. I'm just gonna lightly tap each cube until the ice crushes down. Okay guys, so you can just see my last few imprints, you can see that I've got kind of like a nice icicle effect on the ice there. So make as many of that as you need, and uh, that is how you crush your ice. Okay, so you saw how I made the crushed ice, so I've just literally got one bag of it and plonked it straight on top like that. Now we need to grab our mint. Okay guys, so with the mint leaves, basically at the top of the stalk there's a really funky leaf one that you can just pull off right at the stem and leave it to one side as a garnish like that. Now the rest of them, you want to get the leaves, not the stalks obviously, and just pluck them off. Um, you can actually do it right at the bottom with your finger and thumb gently and don't tear the leaf. So uh, grab about six or seven leaves and uh, yeah, let's do that. Like I said guys, we've got a nice pile of mint leaves there. I'll show you what we're going to do with them. Okay, so we're going to get our mint leaves here, basically like line them up like a deck of cards, nice and neat. Fold them in half and run out around the edge of the glass like that, just to get a bit of mint flavour on that. And then keep it like this, rip it, and just drop it in there. Okay, so just before you add your run, give it one last stir and get all the leaves all blended in like that, okay? Gives it another chance for the sugar to blend in with the lime juice still. That's good, okay, so I've got two shots, so two 30ml shots, so 60ml in total of uh, white rum. That's going straight in there. And now we're going to top it up with some more crushed ice. Okay, so I'll put the second layer of ice on. As you can see, it's a nice big layer of it, it's sticking out over the top. Just going to grab a teeny bit of our soda water, only a drop, just to bring it up to the top. We're going to drop our mint on there like that, and grab our lime, so on the side like that, and that is the mojito all done. So let's see what it tastes like. Okay, you guys, here we go. I've added a really cheap and nasty straw in, as you can see. Let's give it a taste. Oh wow, that's good. Might have put a teeny bit too much sugar in that because that's kind of sweet, but I can still taste the alcohol and the mint in there as well. Wow. Um, give that a try, guys. I'm no uh, bartender. I just made that myself or out on my own. Need a few things around the house and some limes from the supermarket. Easy peasy. If I can make that, anyone can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. And I will see you again next time. Bye.